Hi, it's Mike Gerzi here at Music Villa. Today we're going to talk about the C and the D chords. We talked about using the G run over the G chord, but we can take that same idea of the G run in concept and transpose it, put it against the C chord and put it against the D chord. Uh, the, the cool thing about that is we know that in any progression, uh, the one, four, five is sort of the, the primary chords of, the, of a song, and so we're going to use them all the time. So we have a G chord, a C chord, and a D chord. So here's the G run in G. So let's move it to, the, to C. Against the C chord, it's going to be the exact same lick. All I did was I took the whole lick and I just moved it down to the next string set. So it starts out on your ring finger on the third fret of the A string, the C note, and then play the open D. Just like the G lick, only now it's against the C chord. And one of the things you might notice when you do the C chord is instead of playing the, the pull off, which you can do, you can also pick the whole thing. So that's how we would use it on a C chord. Then we can go to the D chord, and we can do the same kind of a run on a D chord. The, the difference with the D chord now is we lose the open strings, at least at the moment. So we're going to play the, the D note. Then we have to come up and get the, the second note or the E note by fretting the second fret of the D string. Then we have to play the F and then hammer on to the F sharp. So we have this. Then we have to play the fingered A note, get the B, and then play the D here. So it looks like this. with that is it's all fingered and there's no open strings which we love the open strings when we're playing acoustic guitars and we're playing this kind of music so here's the solution remember we talked about how we can shorten these runs so if I took the D run here where I start with the open D if I shorten it and just play off the E note that works but here's the good news I can take that shortened run that I started on the E note and I can move it all the way down to the open E. So now I can do this. Sounds much better because I have those open strings. That looks like this. E, finger the F, hammer onto the F sharp, play the A, play the B, pull off, So that's using the G run against the C chord and against the D chord. What I'm going to do as we uh, exit out of here is actually play a little lick uh, in the key of D. So this little lick in, in the key of D is actually an intro that Tony Rice used on the tune Blue Railroad Train. Uh, he played it in F, so what he did was he capoed up to the third fret, but it's out of a D position. And so it looks like this. And the other thing that's cool about it is it has uh, when it goes to the four chord, to the G chord, he uses a lot of the G run. And you'll see how that all works together. So it's a combination of the D run and the G run. So there you have it. It's Mike Gersey here at the Music Villa. We'll see you next time.